Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Turner. So today I have the update for the Project Clue Special Planning Edition. And this is a project created by Stephanie here. I will link her video down below. And it's all about solving a murder mystery by using our makeup product. So this is a genius idea because um, you play the game actually Clue and use your makeup products at the same time. And it's fun to do that, I have to admit, because um, even though I have never played the real game Clue or Cluida as we call it in Germany, uh, it sounds fun. You know, I, I'm a big fan of Sherlock Holmes, Agatha Christie, Hercule Perrault and so on. So I like this kind of stuff. And for me, it's very fun to play this game. So um, you have your, you know, to, in order to play this game, of course, you need a pair of dice. If you don't have it, you know, you can use a certain app or whatever and get the numbers that you need. Why? Because, for example, you have your suspects, the weapons, and the place, the location where the murder was committed. But we need to know how much uh, or how often we have to use our products in order to give a suggestion. So, for example, you, uh, the rules of this game is, of this project plan is, for example, you pick three items from each category. Free from the suspects, free from the murder weapons, and free from the rooms. And, pay, and then you roll for each product or each prompt the dice and of course you will have let's say the number from 2 to 12 because that's the maximum number that you can roll right so it doesn't because you have two dice you will not have you know one number one starting as a starting point you will have two right so and based on that uh, you just you know use your product so for example let's say um you picked mrs peacock so mrs peacock is a blue product and you roll the dice and the dice shows you let's say for example six you have to use the product six times then you have to use for example for the murder weapon let's say it's a candlestick you know this is a highlighting shim uh, um, highlighter that you need to use for this prompt um you have 10 for example and for the location let's say um you have the kitchen and for example that could be a baked product and uh, you rolled in let's say four so once you finish one product from each category you are able to to make a suggestion meaning you can actually uh, verbalize who do you think is the murder where did the murder happen and with which murder weapon was used to commit the crime right so because we have nine products in total to work on you could actually if you finish it after the first month for example you could give free suggestions and these free suggestions you have to put it in the comments below the project description in the fantastic ladies collab facebook group so and there somebody will come back to you and say oh yeah your suggestion might be correct in terms that you have uh, maybe the right suspect or you have not the right suspect you have not the right murder weapon and you have not the right uh, location and uh, the thing is every answer is individualized meaning for example what is incorrect for me for example my suggestion could be uh, correct for me you know meaning one of them is a good guess but it doesn't mean that it's uh, the same for you for example it's in individualized answer meaning your answers could be totally different but they still could be okay that they they could be still correct right so because stephanie said that you know uh, it doesn't mean if you look at somebody else's answer that you have to follow that person's answer because uh, you know it won't match so now um let's see what i did now i mean I actually rolled in my introduction video, you saw me live rolling actually the dice so that I could determine how often do I have to use a product. And I started actually with the first three suspects, the first three weapons and the free, first three locations. So let me show you what I have in the first round and uh, start from there. So I had for Mrs. Peacock, the blue eyeshadow from Max Factor. So and this one is called azure frenzy i rolled the dice and it showed me nine times use i use it only one time so therefore this one is still in the project i could actually if i finish it next time uh, for uh, until next time i could you know um, verbalize that i think mrs peacock is a murder and my next what is previous guess might be still incorrect or still correct whatever you know so 
slowly, slowly, turn on your, <laughs> uh, okay, because I have somebody in mind now that I think could be the murderer, so therefore, you know, that's why I'm saying this one, you know, next time it could be incorrect, but of course, I don't know, so my, my current guess could be also wrong, right, in terms of, you know, if I guess the correct suspect or not, so then I had Colonel Mustard in, and that was something yellow, and I had here, uh, you know, this eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution. It's a 90s baby eyeshadow palette, and I should have used it 10 times. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there are some nice disturbances on the matte shadows. So I used it in total 10 times because that was the number that I rolled. And because I reached my goal, I say this one is the suspect now for this round. Of course, I could be wrong, right? So then Professor Plum, the next person that I had in mind... Or that I actually picked I used or I wanted to use this uh, violet eyeshadow from uh, or plum eyeshadow from Max Factor this is called passionate plum uh, passionate violet sorry and I should have used it six times I have not used it at all so therefore this one remains in the next round so we will see what will happen now so I have only one suspect that I could finish let's go over to the murder weapons now for the murder weapons I had the candlestick and um, for the candlestick, you have to pick a shimmery product, a highlighter, and so on. So I picked this little guy. This is from Makeup Academy, Undress Your Skin, um, Shimmer Highlighter in Iridescent Gold. I should use it eight times. I used it eight times. So therefore, this one is my next suggestion. I mean, the combination of it. So we have Colonel Mustard and the Shimmer Highlighter, the um, candlestick as murder weapon. Then I had for the knife, something that you use for contour. I forgot to show it in my introduction video, actually. I picked this product, and this is the, uh, what is it, Infallible Sculpt Cream to Powder uh, product. So I used it only two times. I should have reached the goal of six uses. So therefore, this one remains in the project. Then, next one is lead pipe. So for lead pipe... Uh, something long and so on. I picked this pencil here actually and this is from Kiko Milano. This is the intense color long-lasting eyeliner and this is a very bright eyeliner. I wanted to use it uh, 10 times or based on the roll, you know, on the dice. I have not started to use it at all. So therefore this one remains also in the project. Now I picked for the location of the murder, I picked a hall and there I um, let me see, what was the description? For the haul was a base product. And I said, you know what, for a base product, I would take foundation. And I was lucky I rolled in the foundation, or, or I rolled to die, sorry. And I had three uses only to do with it. I used it three times, so therefore I have the place of the location, uh, place of the murder is the haul for me. And then I, as next product, I had the lounge, a no makeup makeup product and I picked again the same product here. I picked again this uh, eyeshadow, oh no, sorry, eyeliner, because, you know, this is so light, actually you could not see it on your on your eyes. And I would say, you know, that's the purpose of a no makeup makeup look, you know, you, you don't see that somebody is wearing makeup. In fact, they are wearing makeup. So, and there I had to use it 12 times. So in total 22 uses, I have not even touched it at all. So therefore this one remains in the project or for the next round and then I had the next place or next uh, room was dining room and for the dining room a food related product and there I picked here this um, highlighter from makeup or oh, I love revolution it's a sugar cookie highlighter and there I should have used it six times I used it only two times so this one also remains in the project now I will also put down my suggestion under this uh, video actually and I will also put it under the uh, Facebook uh, you know post so again I have the shimmer highlighter the candlestick as a murder weapon and my suspect is calling a mustard and I say the murder happened in the hall now because I've completed three products from each category I want to roll in the next three products so all the next three suspects, uh, three suspects, uh, weapons and rooms. Uh, so out of each category, one person, one thing, I mean. So the next one uh, is Miss, uh, Miss Scarlet, a red product or packaging. Okay, 
spread product or packaging. So I was, and this is the, this eyeshadow palette from uh, BH Cosmetics. And uh, this is from the Birthstone collection. And you can see it's new. The film is still on. So let's see how often I have to use it. So, okay. So I have to use it seven times. So seven times that's the next suspect mrs miss ruby then i picked the revolver and that's one you need to use a spray for it so i picked the essence fix and last 18 hours uh, makeup fixing spray and let's see how often do i have to use this one and oh, 10 times so 10 times and then final product is for the kitchen a baked product so i have here let me see the morning star biscuit from kigo milano morning star biscuit just just writing the down the name and i'm going to show you the shade it is like this it is a very golden I don't know if you can see it. it's a peachy color now you can see it better it's very, I think you can use it really nicely for highlighting but in my case actually I could use it also kind of as a finishing powder because on my skin um, you know it doesn't really show up that prominent so this is the product for the kitchen and let's see <laughs> two I have to use it only two so some products I might be able to reach my goal the next for the next time for some i i think i won't do it but anyway i hope you enjoyed this little update of mine i see you in the next one have a good day bye bye